Hello everyone, it's me, NYSC Einstein from the Florida New York Stock Exchange, the Einstein of Wall Street. We are in the beginning days of November and this market is off to the race. So much to talk about, so much to do, and I think it's there are positive things that we can bite our teeth into. That's why you have a market that's closing at records across the board. The S&P closing at a record of 3,078. The Dow closing at a record of 27,462. Not the high of the day, but a record close, and that's incredible. Volume reasonable at 950 million shares. All right, we have the dollar up. We have gold up a little bit, and we have oil up a little bit too. Those are not the stories of the day. 65% of the companies have reported, and most of them, majority of the ones reporting, have been beating estimates and proving positive guidance. We have sort of taken our eye off the trade. China story, in my opinion, for the moment, even though every interview I do keeps trying to bring back in that there's sort of, you know, that there, there are, the trade negotiations are giving the lift that the market needs. I don't believe that. I think the Federal Reserve lowering of interest rates last week gave the market what it was looking for. I think the projections that if the market runs into headwinds, they will step in and support the market is another thing. I think that the non-payroll numbers of last week were solid, taking into account GM and another other of uh, obstacles and headwinds in the employment space. We still put out numbers that were reasonable. We revised September and October in a positive way as far as that goes. We are running at full employment. Those are what we're talking about. The lifeblood of this market, besides being profits and earnings of the corporations that have reported so far. Jackie oh Jack, you're still here? Is full employment and the situation and the environment where the consumer is. Consumer sentiment positive, consumer buying power positive, coming into crypto season, it seems like the way to go. Markets closing at records across the board, China story off the table, unemployment in the best shape it's been in for the longest time, revising numbers in a positive way. Those are the positives of the day and we are in the green across the board, giddy up on that. Some negatives, we've seen some earning misses, Uber missed, okay? Um, uh, Shake Shack missed. This market, as I've said over the last couple of weeks, is not particularly forgiving for stocks that have missed their point, okay? Also, Under Armour, under, under investigation um, for accounting mispropriety of some sort, and they're waiting on earnings too. That stock got fairly eviscerated, and McDonald's CEO being fired for inappropriate behavior. So there's a lot on the table. Impeachment, not sort of a focus for sure. Um, the lifeblood of this market are the things that we can sink our teeth into. And that's what we've hyper-focused on, okay? And that's why the market is up. Probably some shortcoming, we're breaking out. There's a beautiful breath above the last close that we've had until this new record, record highs. Keep that in mind, the momentum is here. Market seems like it's going higher. If you're a trader, be nimble. If you're an investor, stay in it. To win it, I love you all. The Ad Center Wall Street from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. I'll see you tomorrow.